How does it feel for you to walk through this exhibit? It brought back a lot of memories. Susan Warsinger has a tough past. She is one of the few who escaped the Holocaust. She visits the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C. often. I just found out about it and I'm so excited. Here is a letter to help my brother and me come to the United States. When I first came in, I said, well, this is all about me because it describes exactly what happened in 1933, how much the world knew about what Hitler was going to do. Americans and the Holocaust is a new exhibit that uses documents from the past to show America's knowledge and involvement in the Holocaust in the 1930s and 40s. Because I was always under the impression that America didn't know what was going on. But seeing these news articles, they definitely did, and they just chose not to do anything. So that kind of changes my perspective a little bit. The Holocaust was a period in history where an estimated 11 million people were killed just because of who they were. Six million of them were Jewish. At the time, the leader of Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler, was on a dual mission to expand the German Empire across Europe and to kill off people he thought were inferior, not only Jewish people, but other groups, including gay people and those with disabilities. Many assumed that at the time, Americans had little knowledge that people in Europe were being murdered. But in reality, they weren't in the dark at all. Americans learn in 1942 that the Nazis have an intention to murder all the Jews of Europe. And even at that moment, when that becomes public news, you don't see a big shift in American public opinion about letting in refugees. News articles, documents, and even Hollywood films are used to take visitors back to the time where Nazi extremism was a common headline. And the exhibit is extremely interactive as well. Students can pick any state in the country and find actual articles proving that Americans had some knowledge of the Holocaust. The project is crowdsourced, meaning that a large number of people across the country help find articles for the exhibit. And get this, 1,500 of those people were students. You're a student, but you're having the ability to help learn more facts about what happened back then. It makes me feel like my opinion and my voice matters. He was not stopping until he got something done. These students from New Milford High School in New Jersey search for articles in their local newspaper during the time of the Holocaust. It's not as if you gave them something, you said, read it, and here's the questions, and then we're done. You're saying, here's the task, let's take a look at this period, and let's see what you find, and that's engaging. Once forgettable landmarks in their hometown suddenly became portals to the past. When you're looking at the newspaper articles, seeing locations you know, it really like, connects to you on a personal level, because you know, look, I wasn't involved, but the people before me were involved and I kind of live where they stood. Young people across the country are helping expose a dark time in our past and helping to keep history alive for the future. I mean, it's such an invigorating feeling. You know that you're helping teach not just your own generation, but future generations to come, and it kind of really gives you a sense of power and importance. Those children are the future of our culture and of our heritage, and if they understand what anti-Semitism or hatred of another people can do, they would immediately stand up for what they think is right. Ariel Hickson, Channel One News.